So when you finish to flash the multiwi, you have to go to the uh, subfolder multiwi.conf and run the multiwi.conf exe. Uh, this is the first um, well edition of the um, graphic user interfaces. So if uh, be sure that you select the same virtual com than the you use for flash with Arduino, and you in theory just need to press reconnect, and if it's connected. As you can see, everything is turning in um, green. So by default, when I flashed, uh, all the PLD value was set to zero. So from the uh, after group threads, uh, there is a user who optimized the values. So here, I uh, re-enter the same values. So, um, well, what you have to do is to um, um, to first to calibrate uh, accelerometers, so be sure that your uh, quadcopter is installed on the flat surfaces, and you have to press calibrate. And in a few instants, the quadcopter should stabilize. And as you can see, uh, it's aligned on the zero level on the youth. Okay, and when it's done, you have to write the, the, the values, okay? So, notice also that um, um, you can use also the uh, multi-wing guys, okay? Wing guys, which is a more complete um, uh, interfaces. So, you have to select the same com, connect. And uh, in fact, I'm tuning more the parameters with these uh, versions. So uh, you can select 12 or 10 Hz, and you can access also to the fine tuning with there. So you have all the PID, etc. With this version, I can really save and write the setting by pressing this button. Okay, so I don't know, for the uh, former one, I was not able to write any things, uh, any PID settings. So, when I reconnect there, in fact, I can change any value there. So, maybe I need to, okay, to select or read the values and write. Okay, so by default, the uh, as you can see, when I'm moving the quadcopter, the, everything is okay. Uh, nice feature that the um, this board got um, a barometers and magnetomet, so you can have the, the true north, uh, and everything is updated correctly. So I prefer to use the uh, second software, the multi uh, win guys instead of this one. Um, so I will return to the um, multi win guys. Uh, you can download it, of course, in the uh, multi uh, Google uh, deposit. So I will reconnect. And, well, it's more or less the same stuff. You can also calibrate here, uh, mine. And uh, with this uh, software, um, you can, of course, tune all the PID uh, values, uh, but also you will be able to tune uh, your endpoints of your transmitter. So even if I'm turning on the, uh, the transmitter, okay, as you can see, uh, I use a Devo 7 h So just to give you an example, um, I use of course DSM2. So uh, how to bind your uh, your quad capture? Uh, it's a little bit tricky because uh, you have to uh, to press. The bind button, okay. Then turn on the the quad capter and release the bind button. So it's difficult with only two hands to press the bind button and in the same time to install the lipo to turn on the, the quad capter. So what I advise you is to press pre-insert the 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 lipo and when it's done, you just with two fingers just push a bit in the micro connector to turn on the quad okay 
and when it's done you have to release the bind button and play with the transmitter ok load and go and uh, to select the SM2 and to press the bind button there ok when it's done the, the lead should become the red lead should become solid ok so um, the more important is to uh, select the head points as you can see mine are not perfectly tuned uh, all these values should be around uh, central, the pitch roll and your value should be uh, at 1500 okay they are not they are a little bit more and, uh, and the minimum value should be around 1100 and max 1900 okay so uh, to tune the uh, middle points okay to center everything uh, notice that um, aux1 and aux2 for my demo are working so i decided well it's as you want to harm the quadcopter with the aux2 which is for me uh, the aux2 is the f mode uh, switch button to state one and um, to i can select from uh, low to high level between horizon mode okay to angle one okay so it's one I decide and one is done you have to write okay each time you are changing a PID values or um, the RC control settings you have to write of course the settings so uh, the next step is to uh, show how to uh, tune the head points with your transmitter Here is my setting for the Devo Sitter. So in the mixer, mixer you have to do okay. Uh, you have to select the scale minus, scale plus, and uh, sub trim. Here are my values for the throttle. You have to reverse the. You don't have to reverse the channel for the ale. So here my values of scale minus plus and sub trim. You have to reverse the channel for the elevation. Here is my here are my settings and. I don't reverse in the channel finally. The riddler, you're right. Here are my values. So all these values are bound in between 1150 and 1950. And I assign the Fifth channel to all one and the sixth one to F mode one. Okay, with that I'm arming the quadcopter with this switch and select with this switch and select the flight mode with this one. <laughs> 